There are a whole lot of scores to settle out there in the deep blue sea, and some surprising rivals are out for each other's blood. The ocean can be a dangerous place, even when you think you're the biggest, baddest predator on the block. You just never know who might be waiting around the next corner with a grudge to bear. From an octopus with some murderous habits to the horniest guys on the beach slapping each other senseless, here are 15 sea animals that hate each other. Number 15. Australia's orcas are attacking blue whales. I guess this is why orcas are also known as killer whales, because these guys are up to some serious fishing out there in the deep waters off the coast of Western Australia. Orcas may look all smiley and cute, but these wild ones are nothing like the sea world kind. The orca's actually a murderous psychopath with a penchant for evisceration and squeezing the livers out of sharks. Pate, anyone? Mmm, delicious. Very few creatures would even attempt to take on a blue whale, and the sheer size of these animals is enough to put off even the most would-be predators. So it's surprising to see orcas so brazenly hunting and attacking one. This crazy behavior has rarely ever been captured before, but there are some orcas out there that are being super aggressive to the blue whale, and spoiler alert, it doesn't end well for the whale. The whole thing begins as a kind of super slow motion standoff. The blue whale's massive size means that it's extremely slow moving compared to the smaller, more agile orca, and the orcas spot their prey and then begin to move in. Working as a tag team, the orcas are able to outgun the whale at almost every turn, and like a pack of wolves, they circle and contain the whales, attacking in turn and taking lumps out of the unfortunate mammal. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Polar Bear versus the Ringed Seal Polar bears are apex predators, spending their whole life in search of food, and their resources are becoming more and more scarce. Not only is climate change damaging the polar bear's chances of survival, but the scale of the damage to their habitat in the Arctic means that polar bears are more frequently coming into contact with humans, and nobody wants a hungry polar bear popping up around for tea time. This incredible predator has an awesome sense of smell. They can sniff out their prey from up to a kilometer away. Polar bears have adapted their hunting technique in order to find seals based on how the seal behaves through the winter months. Seals spend the autumn months cutting 10 to 15 breathing holes in the ice, and they keep these open all winter long as they spend their time underwater, surfacing at a breathing hole around every quarter of an hour. So, once the polar bear catches a whiff of a tasty seal in the Arctic breeze, they'll then wait at the breathing hole for the seal to surface. It sounds pretty simple. But surprisingly, it's a little bit of a hit or miss kind of method. That seal may not actually surface at this particular spot for hours or even sometimes days. And that means that the hungry polar bear either has to sit and patiently wait or seek out another seal. Other times, a seal may be basking on the ice, and this gives a polar bear a chance to attack. Polar bears are great swimmers, they can actually swim for days without stopping, so they may actually swim a long way around to catch the seal off guard and avoid scent alerting the prey. But when you consider the fact that polar bears are only successful at catching their prey about 2% of the time, that's a whole lot of effort for very little gain. Number 13. Leopard Seal versus Penguins Leopard seals, well, they're a complete menace. These guys are ruthless hunters and they have the bite to prove it. They're particularly partial to p -p 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 picking up a penguin as well. These seals are ambush hunters, 
hanging around just under the edge of ice ledges, waiting for the inexperienced penguin to plop into the water and into their waiting jaws. These ruthless tactics are especially successful during the penguin's breeding season when there are hundreds of the little birds jumping into the water to catch fish for their offspring and their partners, and then it's like the leopard seal's birthday with tasty penguins leaping into its mouth left and right and center. These brutally efficient tactics have given the leopard seal the dubious honor of being one of Antarctica's most feared predators, but they look so cute though. Number 12. Killer Whales Take Down Tiger Shark These orcas, well those jerk bags are at it again and this time their victim is none other than a tiger shark. Now usually you'd expect to be hearing how the shark had been doing the hunting, but this time around, the shark is actually the prey. The orcas, also known as the killer whale, were spotted by some divers off the coast of Costa Rica, and a pod of three orca were then suddenly animated as they moved in on a single tiger shark. They used a scarily efficient hunting technique, circling the shark and forcing it to surface, and then they just worked on tiring it out until it couldn't fight back anymore. This is a particularly gruesome sight. These mighty ocean creatures could likely dispense with the relatively small shark with ease, but they seem to actually be enjoying taunting it, like a cat toying with a mouse before it crushes it to death. At this point, the orcas are starting to take bites out of the exhausted shark, until finally, a large male orca takes control of the hunt and finishes the job, flipping the tiger shark onto its back. This ends up paralyzing the shark and leaving it completely helpless against the onslaught of orcas as they begin ripping at the animal's flesh. The ravenous killer whales then systematically eat the entire shark, stripping it right down to the bones. Number 11. Giant Petrel versus Penguin A group of baby penguins waddling alone to the sea seems like an easy prey for a big bad giant petrel. However, these fluffy flightless birds actually have a few tricks up their ridiculously cute little sleeves. The giant petrel's a massive bird with a wingspan of up to six feet and a huge pointy bill. It's a dangerous predator especially amongst a vulnerable pack of little emperor penguins on their first outing without grown-up supervision. First, the petrel manages to attack, pulling a penguin from the group. But the penguin is surprisingly quick and wriggles free from the bird's grasp. Then the power of the pack kicks in. The emperor penguin chicks know that there's safety in numbers, and they form a circle which protects each other and stand tall against the petrel. At a stalemate, the penguins then stand their ground as the giant petrel settles beside the circle waiting for an opportunity. And just then, an ally appears on the landscape, a small but feisty Adelaide penguin. This fierce little one, even on its own, is enough to see off the petrol and help the emperors carry on their journey. Word to the wise, you don't want to mess with this bird. Number 10. Shark versus Gigantic Squid Deep below the surface in the waters of the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Hawaii, there seems to have been an epic battle between an almost mythical giant squid and a shark. Scientists are intrigued to discover what appear to be the distinct markings of a fight between these two sea monsters on the skin of the shark itself. The battle-scarred, white-tipped shark may be swimming around with real-life clues about the nature of the elusive and fascinating giant squid. There do appear to be a row of circular marks along the shark's back, looking a whole lot like the sucker marks that are made by a large squid. And judging by the size of those scars, the squid had to have been at least the same size as the shark, which is seven feet long, by the way. While we don't know exactly how the fight came about or who was trying to eat whom, we can say for sure that the shark survived the apparent deep sea wrestling match, on this occasion anyway. Number 9. Battle Between an Octopus and a Crab This one comes with a twist at the end. 
Divers would be filming an encounter between a red octopus and a swimmer crab in the chilly waters off the coast of Monterey in California one evening, and they were watching the standoff between the two sea creatures with interest because it was beginning to look as if the octopus had the situation sewn up. The crab, however, didn't have anywhere really to go, and the octopus was bringing out all of its best moves, looking poised to swoop in for the final blow, it then suddenly and unceremoniously removed itself from the equation. A harbor seal, who was going by the harmless sounding name of Whiskers, popped in for a visit and helped himself to a tasty octopus snack. It goes from curtains for the crab to carnage for the octopus in about two seconds flat. Ink squirting, blood spraying, sounds like my junior prom night. It turns out that these divers have actually encountered the gate-crashing seal before. It started to use their lights on night dives to help it hunt, as was demonstrated with brutal efficiency to that octopus. So it seems as though Whiskers is the ultimate winner in this battle, but the crab, well, it probably felt at least the tiniest bit smug about the fate of its tormentor. If crabs could swagger instead of walk sideways, then this one might have allowed itself a teeny celebratory dance. Right after it scuttled off to a safe place, of course. Number 8. An Eel Violently Attacks an Octopus All is quiet and calm on the seafloor. An octopus, minding its own business, blending itself in with the rocks. When suddenly, and rudely, a massive and vicious eel lunges in and takes out a chunk. It's a dangerous world down there, and transforming from a peaceful coexistence to being locked in an epic battle seems to be par for the course under the sea. There are opportunistic killers and hungry predators around every corner, and you just have to keep your wits about you at all times and stay frosty. The brutality of this attack is what's most surprising. It really does seem to come almost out of nowhere and is executed with such speed and ferocity that is one bad eel. The octopus loses an arm in the altercation, but frankly, it seems fortunate that it survived this vicious assault at all. It's an eel-eat-octopus world out there, kids. Number 7. A sea snake devours an eel its own size. A sea snake that looks like it escaped from a Tim Burton movie, the banded sea crate, is an amphibious animal, able to live on land or in the water. And judging by the way it can snarf down a whole moray eel, the sea snake has a massive appetite. Now, I don't know about you, but even when I'm really hungry, I probably won't spot a sandwich the same height as me and think, hmm, that's a sensible lunch. But that's not so with the banded sea crate. This stripy creature saw a sizable moray eel that measured in at more or less the same as itself, and it decided to scarf down the whole thing without even pausing to chew. These sea snakes have a venomous bite, which they use to paralyze their prey. The venom is incredibly toxic and is actually 10 times more poisonous than a rattlesnake's venom. Yikes! Number 6. Hammerhead Shark Attacks Stingray now you'd imagine that if you were in the sea when a shark was just a few feet away, you might notice, especially if you're only one knee deep in crystal clear water. But perhaps not. A shark could be within munching distance and you might be totally oblivious, just like these people. The extraordinary footage of a couple of people standing in shallow water shows a hammerhead shark appear just a few feet away from them, and the people have no idea. A stingray is also darting around in the water, desperately trying to evade the shark's capture. Hammerheads love nothing more than a tasty stingray snack. In fact, it's their favorite food. They're not in the least bit interested in eating people, although I guess even if you know that, you'd probably still make yourself scarce if one was nearby. And that's exactly what these people do when they finally notice the shark splashing around next to them. They couldn't get out of the water quick enough. They must have had some squeaky bottoms when they saw it as well. The thing with this footage, though, is that once it hits the internet, literally everyone weighs in on what a close shave it was for those people, with headlines about how close to being munched to death they were, which is basically just nonsense. The shark, it only had eyes for that stingray. If anything, the people were fortunate to have actually witnessed such an awesome sight up close like that. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 5. A Tiger Shark Tries to Take on a Hammerhead 
Two giants of the ocean locked in an epic battle is not something that you see every day. Sharks are predators, and they'll hunt and eat all kinds of creatures, which includes other sharks it would seem. This footage would be captured in the Gulf of Mexico, where these two different species of shark are often in competition for the same meal and have probably developed a little bit of dislike for each other. Ryan Wilsey would be out on a boat fishing when he managed to get this extraordinary encounter between the two sharks, and the hammerhead was doubly unlucky, really. First, it had been caught on the hook of the fishermen on the boat, and they were beginning to reel the big fish in. In fact, they initially thought that they had snared a tuna, but their catch soon became more clear when another shark turned up to the party. The tiger shark is a formidable animal, responsible for many of the shark bites on humans as it goes, but this was a particularly opportunistic tiger shark that spotted the hammerhead's predicament and figured it would have a go at it. Now, a fish hanging from a fishing line is no doubt pretty easy prey for a big predator like this one. I mean, the hard work's already been done, right? So the tiger shark bites the hammerhead, releasing the stricken fish from the line, but then engaging in a wrestling match where biting is allowed. The hammerhead is clamped unceremoniously in the bigger shark's jaws, and then they both disappear beneath the waves. Number 4. An octopus kills every shark that enters its aquarium. Here's a quick fire quiz. Shark versus octopus. Who wins? Well, I reckon most people are going to say the shark. And yeah, nine times out of ten, they'd probably be right. But every once in a while, there comes along an octopus who means business, and he's not going to take any shark-based nonsense from anyone. This giant Pacific octopus lives in a big tank in an aquarium in Seattle, and woe unto any shark who should choose to casually pass by his territory. Amazing footage was captured when this octopus attacked the spiny dogfish shark that happened to be swimming by. The mighty octopus quickly around the surprised shark and reel it in. The arms just keep on tightening and grabbing, pulling the shark into the hug of death. Ugh, oh, it's so brutal. Although usually it would be the other way around, with the shark eating the octopus, it seems that this clever creature has actually figured out an offense is the best defense strategy and wasn't about to wait around to become a shark snack. This giant Pacific octopus had been sharing a tank with several dogfish sharks, but staff at the aquarium began to find the gruesome remains of these fish at the bottom of the tank. They eventually worked out that the octopus had murder in mind, and hopefully they rescued the remains sharks before they too met an untimely end. This octopus does not play well with others. Number 3. Eel Battle versus Poisonous Pufferfish They are creepy looking things, moray eels, but there's no doubt that these fish have some adaptations that make them deadly killers. This footage would be captured in the Red Sea near Egypt by a group of divers. The swift efficiency of the eel is startling. With lightning-fast reactions like those, it's no wonder that it caught its prey. However, for all of those hunting skills, the eel might not be the smartest fish in the sea. The lunch that it chose to snaffle was none other than a pufferfish, which is literally one of the most poisonous things on the planet. As the battle begins, it's pretty one-sided. The pufferfish uses its signature move and puffs itself up into an unwieldy ball, while the eel uses its weird jaws to conquer it. You can see the eel's two sets of teeth as it gobbles down its deadly dinner, using one set to keep hold of the pufferfish and the other to deflate it and then swallow it down. But ultimately, neither of these fish is really a winner, are they? The pufferfish would be eaten, and the moray eel no doubt had a tummy ache with a fatal ending. That's a little bit of a bummer. Number 2. A shrimp squares off with a dragonfish on the ocean floor. It turns out that shrimp are not really as feeble as we sometimes think they are. In fact, some of them are just thugs. This little shrimp stalks a fish in the middle of the sea, grabbing a hold of the dragonfish and dragging it to the ocean floor. And what happens next? Well, it's frankly horrifying, because the shrimp sets about its task and has the dragonfish entangled in its legs, holding it upside down while it uses one of its tentacles to slowly eviscerate the helpless fish. Ugh, it's so brutal I can barely look, but I can't stop watching either. 
Apparently, the shrimp is behaving in a fairly uncharacteristic manner because shrimp are usually scavengers, gathering most of their food by finding debris and other animals' leftovers. For these types of shrimp to be doing such predatory things and hideous murders is really unusual. So what we're looking at could be some kind of psychopathic shrimp after all. Ultimately, and obviously, I guess, things end up really badly for the dragonfish as it has its last meal surgically removed from its belly, and the shrimp slowly and methodically begins to devour the unfortunate fish tiny piece by tiny piece while it's still alive. Number 1. Vicious Elephant Seal Battle For elephant seals during mating season, it's all about being the biggest and fattest and mmm, sexiest seal on the beach. These massive males fight each other to decide who gets to do all the mating, and it could get pretty violent. Back in the 19th century, the elephant seal was hunted almost into extinction, their population shrinking to less than 100 during the worst of those times. It was only through the utterly enormous libido of these huge mammals that their numbers have since swelled to around 100,000. These guys, they're really, really random. And they'll tear shreds out of each other to be the one to get some. The sheer power of these male seals is staggering. As they rear up in a fierce standoff, the strength of their bulky bodies is on full display. They use their bulk to crash into one another and their teeth to bite at and tear at the flesh of their opponent. It's a frightening spectacle. These guys do seem really angry, and it gets kind of gory with blood all over the place, and bits and pieces flying everywhere. They seriously want that lady seal's attention. Wow. And there you have it. Life under the sea can get pretty dangerous. Which sea animals would you like to see in an epic showdown? Who do you think would win? Let us know in the comments below. Also check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.